Yo, I don't even know how this is a discussion. <laughs> but do you think there are any situations, circumstances where a guy, I guess it could go for girls too, but yeah. if a guy can date his boy's ex or a girl could date her girl's ex. It depends what you consider an ex to be. They, the, right? Because, dude, if 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 you guys went out on a couple dates, mm-hmm. I don't know, I don't know, son. What if what if but what, <laughs> but, but what if your boy was like super sprung on her though? Uh, but so that's that's one thing. Okay, I think I think there's levels. It's there's le- not. There's I think there's levels to this shit. I think there's fifty shades of gray with this one. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. I think elaborate. But generally, I don't mm-hmm. think it's good. Okay, okay, but. If you were going out with, let's say you're going out with a girl and you're out, you're going out with her for like a year, two years, mm-hmm. three years, mm-hmm. dude, like, like, so what's the threshold? That's off limit. What's the threshold? I don't know. I, I think it depends on how many, uh, like how deep you went with that person. Is that a pun? <laughs> you're you're good. That, that's a really good catch. Um, I think it depends. It depends on like um, how involved you were. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. But also, number one thing, if you're gonna if you're gonna deal with some one of your friends' ex girls, yeah, you need to approach that man first. Oh, for sure. You need. You say for sure. You think that's common knowledge? No, because some dudes are shady and some dudes just ain't got no bubbles. <laughs> that's, that's the thing. That's yeah, the thing. Like, yeah. I, I think you must approach. You must be like, look, this is the situation that's happening. Yeah. Um, I won't move forward unless you give me the go ahead, and whatever, whatever answer you give me, I'll deal with that. Like that's if some you're dudes a man, will, but some dudes won't be. Be a man, but some dudes won't be upfront about that. They'll be like, "Yeah, yeah, it's cool." Hey, it, that's his mind. But okay, I hear what you're saying. Now, let me make myself comfortable here because I got some things to say. <laughs> so listen, listen, okay. There's a couple of things here. First of all, you know how I feel about exes, okay? If I dated you and we had a label, okay, you were my girlfriend. When I break up with you, girlfriend, when you, you, my girlfriend, okay. <laughs> if I break up with you or you break up with me, we break up. Yo, you broke up with the crew, okay. Uh, you 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 broke up with the crew, okay. So that means that if my boy decides to go date her, then he's not my boy because she broke up with you too already, okay. She broke up with the crew. That's number one. Number two. If I've been up in some girl's guts, my boy can't date her. Like it just doesn't make sense. Cause then when she comes around, what am I gonna? Yup, seen her naked before. Like what? Like no, but what? Seriously, yup, slept with her before. We just, did this. What, what am I? What do you want to do? Hi. I know where your mouth has been. <laughs> like, like, what, like, what do you want me to do? No, but you know what I mean. So to me, that just it doesn't even make sense. If if let's say you and your you, you it's an acquaintance if it's an acquaintance that's a different story okay or circumstances work themselves out in such a way that you guys were boys you break up with the girl but you and the dude have a falling out then it's free game too it's free game but okay that's that's the boy that's the friend yeah but what about the girl? What about the girl in that situation? Where where does that put her? Like, doesn't mm. that like for a girl to be going through a crew like that? Because you go through one and then you go through a second. Now it's it's a it's a crew situation, and I agree with you. Because she's that. loving the crew, <laughs> she's loving the crew. Yeah, but we don't <laughs> love them hoes, right? <laughs> but yeah, I see what you mean, dude. Okay, let, let's let's be straight. Okay, it's happened to me. <laughs> <laughs> then then you know what? Then nobody should have wiped her. Nobody should have wiped her. That's what happens. If she, <laughs> look, if <laughs> if she goes through two, 
<laughs> Nobody should have wiped her. What? Yo. What? Did I, I say some shit I shouldn't have said? No, I agree with you. Uh, no, I, I, a hundred percent agree with you. <laughs> Nobody should have wiped. Nobody should have wiped. Nobody should have wiped her. If it's like, yo, bro, yo, that's, yo, she's a, she's a body. Oh yeah, I know she's a body too. Okay, then nobody should hook up with her. You see him? He knows too. Exactly. You see he, him he, too? He, he knows too. <laughs> yeah. Yo, you know that girl's name? Yeah, man, she bad. Yo, every, <laughs> everybody know. You know what I mean? So you got no, no, no. I'm serious. Nobody should have wiped her. Yo, don't wipe unless, her. Unless, unless whoever's wiping her is as bad. So hoes get with hoes? Hey, <laughs> hey, hey. <laughs> think about it. Who does a, a, a hoe um, spend most of their time with? A pimp. A pimp is, is, is like is a hoe too. Yeah, but I feel like, okay, if you could think back right now to the people, to the girls who were like the most promiscuous, okay, back in college, university, high school, whatever. Yo, they're, they're the ones who end up being a politician's wife. <laughs> I'm telling you. I'm telling you. You're like, what? White, white picket fence with a dog? Two kids? They're, it's them. It's them, yeah. It's like they get it all out of their system. And then after that, they're like, I'm going to settle down. And they're going to and they're gonna find a, like, a guy like us, like over there who's yeah. never heard of them before. It's like... It's like Superhead trying to meet someone like in Europe, you know what I mean? That's never heard of her before. Yeah, because she's been through it everywhere, right? But you know what? It's good. It's, it's like that whole hot girl summer. Don't they know that will kill their future, right? But we talked about that. We talked about body count. Yeah, we did. And how it matters, it, or it, it doesn't matter. Okay, let's let's bring it back. What, to, the body count? No, no, not the oh, body count. Okay. Like, should you date your... your um, your friend's ex no no man like if it's an acquaintance yes if you've had a falling out with that dude sure even that's kind of sketchy because when you see that acquaintance next thing you know like you're walking down the street and that acquaintance sees you and then he looks at the girl and is like yeah but i remember that so if you have a falling out with that dude everything's mm -hmm. It's fair everything's game. fair game. Everything's fair it's game. It's fair game. One hundred percent agree. You could do whatever he wants. One hundred percent agree. She could do whatever he wants. I agree. You know, but when you say it's the same thing, once she breaks up with you, no, it's fair game for no. her. No, Why because not? she broke up with the crew. <laughs> Dude, she there's broke no up such thing. Crew. Yo, maybe when, I just see things. Different. Listen, when it comes to the dick, it doesn't <laughs> matter. Only one person can get in at one at, at a time. So uh, I don't know. One person I've seen cares. Some scenes where more people can get in. At time. <laughs> people only care about themselves. That's true. Okay, both the girl, both the guy, and even yourself. Okay. So you're maybe saying I, maybe I'm just built differently. That's uh, dude. I'm just putting it out there. I'm. Fair. I'm. I'm, I'm uh, I want to talk about. Okay, that. that's fine. Right. I think if one, if you go through a girl, okay, and, mm -hmm. but you're not attached to it. Okay. And. And your next boy, okay, mm -hmm, okay. your next, you, one of your friends, you say, yo, um, if you want to hit that, I can set it up. And he hits that and then catches feelings and stays with her. And he a bitch. Oh, mama. <laughs> yo, be careful what you say. I'm joking. Okay, be careful what you say. But look, okay. It, it's, okay, another situation oh, happened. Uh, another situation happened was like this. Okay. This girl that that had feelings for me, okay. and I wasn't trying to hear it. Okay. Um, one of like at that time, a long time ago. Okay. Somebody within the crew. Okay. Okay. Um, out of nowhere starts dating so and so, uh, uh, whoever. Okay. And I'm like, I don't give a damn. Yeah. Because I wasn't even trying to hit that. Yeah. But so and so now looks at me like I'm competition, like. Like but I'm you weren't a, trying to hit it. I right? wasn't trying, but she was trying to hit me. Okay. You know? Yeah. So now he... But he's always known this. Yeah. Right? But now yeah. he's, like, going steady with her. But every time he comes around <laughs> with her... <laughs> what is like, this, the 60s? Yeah. I'm just... Um, look. No, I, I feel you. Okay, okay. Every time he comes around her with me... Uh, around me with her, mm -hmm. everything's always, like, tense. Mm -hmm. You know? Like, mm -hmm. 
But I'm like, dude, like that's your girl now. Like, yeah. I had never wanted a piece. I never got a piece. Yeah. Whatever you got, it's on you. But don't yeah. look. Don't be mad that your girl wants to be with me. <laughs> you sound like Mace. <laughs> Why are you over there looking, looking at, at me? me? Why are you standing here? But oh, yo, man. but for real, mm. that all all of that gets very, very tricky. Like yeah. feelings will get hurt. Yeah. Um. People like, especially if you're not clear, if you're not open, yeah. and you're not communicating properly, yeah. things are not gonna go well. Yeah. You know, um, another situation. Why do I have so many of these situations? I don't know. We all have that one episode of the show where we got some things. Yo, on the chest. We, got, <laughs> we got some things on a chest, dude. I wasn't even thinking about this before mm. you came, and I was like, now we're talking. I'm like, man, like you're right. Not everybody's built like this. Mm. Not everybody is built with. Ethics and honor and mm -hmm. and discipline and, yeah. and love for the crew. Yeah. Everybody, like a lot more people are trying to fin for the yeah, for they're, they're neg. The, yeah, fuck boys. <laughs> Just fuck boys. Yeah, there's, straight there, up. There are man. Like, anyways, I'll I'll leave it at at that. We'll leave it at that. But this this topic, I feel like this topic will come up off camera at some point, and we'll continue to speak about. It. But no, but for real, like I I've seen dudes get their feelings and all their life all jacked up mm -hmm. because they did some unethical stuff, some stuff that they shouldn't have done with the some girl they shouldn't have done it with. Yeah. You know, like you sh if you're part of a crew and you're messing with girls who belong to someone mm -hmm. who, or who are going steady with someone within the crew, yeah. It's never, it's never gonna be okay, it's ne and it's, it's never gonna end well. It's never gonna never, end well. never. So what do you, what do you do when you notice things like that are happening within your crew? Like, what's like, how do you handle yeah, but that? I, but I'm outspoken. I'll, I'll say like, yo, what are you doing? I'll say like, bruh, like, I, like I'm nobody's blind here. Like, what are you doing? So without naming names, without making it obvious, mm -hmm. give me an example of when something like that happened. I don't really have one. Mm. I don't really have one. Then how I, how, how would you know you'd be because, outspoken? Because I know, what, because I know myself. But you've never been in that situation. I've, what would you I've kind of been in that situation where like, but me it was more because I had a falling out with the person. So and and I ended up marrying the girl. So I'm, <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. Okay. 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 I will and not. I, no. That. But, I don't. I don't but, want no. To but that that's what happened. There was a falling out, but there was also like other layers, like. Like you said, I told a dude, "Oh, I'm feeling this person," and then behind the scenes, they were they were talking to the person. So, you know, there, there's a bit there's a bit of like you know, without going too much into detail, that's that's kind of what happened. And then when things came full circle, you won. I, I wasn't gonna say I won, but mm. things things put themselves where they were supposed okay, to. Okay, okay, I'm gonna say something. You're gonna get upset in that situation. Probably, probably. in that situation. Yeah. What does that make you? Does it make you? Does that make you the fuck boy, or the, does that make you the honorable that does, man? That doesn't make me the fuck boy because no, no, because, no. I'm, I'm asking. No, no, no. Listen, that does not make me the fuck boy because I stated my intentions and my feelings from jump. You see what I'm saying? I said it from jump, so there was no surprise. What makes the other person not as honorable is because they should have told me that they were talking to the person. You see what I'm saying? So the like first, behind the, the scenes, the same steps that you took, they behind did the scene. exactly behind the scenes. Like if there was something going on, I would be like, I would have said like, "Yo, I know you might be feeling this person, but you know we've been hot, we've been talking." Hmm. I wouldn't let you. I wouldn't let you find out. Yeah, you know what I mean, Just letting someone find something out is the worst. Yeah, because it's deceitful. Exactly. Yeah, you're exactly. you're hoping exactly. that they don't find out. Exactly. So you're hoping to stay on Bashal yeah, in the dark, yeah, yeah, uh, the 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 whole time, yeah. So if you won, what ended up happening to 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 the to the real fuck boy? I never call anybody no fuck boy. I'm just saying. Okay, okay. <clears throat> this is me being harsh. Yeah. So if you if you're they, the they... victor, what in what ended up happening to the opposing male? They made they had their own life. Okay. They have their own life. They're good. But are you still They're winning? With, at least four times. 
<laughs> Dude, I wasn't trying to make you say anything, but damn. No, yeah, but I made yeah, my life, yeah, man. Four times. I'm t- I'm t- I respect I'm t- that. I'm 10 years deep. I respect that. I'm 10 years deep, four kids. Like, I stay winning. Like, and But I'm not even... But I'm not comparing myself to anybody. I just feel like I'm winning in life. That's yeah. it. You you are you you're you're like one of the best people I know. Oh, well, that's nice. Beautiful b- beautiful wife, uh awesome kids. My godson is your first son and my first son is your godson. My godson is your first son. Yeah. Isn't that what I just said? Anyways, yeah, but it's the same. Yeah, no, you just confused me. Oh, I got confused. I I'm not I'm not sharp. <laughs> but anyway, Lies. um you do stay winning, okay? And 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 I see that. Well, I stay I'm, blessed. I don't stay winning. There you go. There you go. <laughs> same thing. This, yeah, true. This true. fake fake humbleness, yo. <laughs> same same thing. But uh, fumbleness. <laughs> but honestly, I think if if it's necessary, if you feel like you don't have a choice, this you're really digging this person. Mm-hmm. You have to step up like a man mm-hmm. and be like, and ask permission. Yeah, and if that permission gets denied, you're just gonna have to uh, walk away. And it wasn't meant to be. Then what you have to do, you have to wait till the boy who said no gets married. <laughs> then you oh, can date the oh, other oh. one. It doesn't work like. Then that. you could date. It doesn't work like. May, that. I said okay. maybe, okay. maybe. It does. You know what? Yeah. Once somebody spends enough time and and it creates real feelings for that girl, mm-hmm. those feelings don't really go away. No. I've heard mm-hmm. of stories where people are like, ten years, fifteen, twenty years later, mm-hmm. a friend go it starts going on with another friend, and they throw fists over that stuff. Oh wow! You know, like, yeah. sp- like when people don't get over things mm-hmm. like that, like mm-hmm. if they don't get over a breakup properly, mm-hmm. they they'll hold they'll hold it in and be like, yo, why are you bringing her here? Yeah. Why are you dating my ex? Yeah. And pow, 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 you know, things like that happen. So I don't know if marriage, even marriage. Um, but then wouldn't the wife take offense that you're bad? Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. still, you know, like things like that happen, man. Like yeah. you shouldn't, you should try to stay away from drama as far as possible. Like, Absolutely. like obvious drama like that. Absolutely. Absolutely. However, I saw, um, I don't know if you, if you ever watched Tales on, um, Tales. on BET. It's by uh, a Murder Inc. guy. What's his name? Ergotti. Okay. It's produced by him. So it's a bunch of different little stories, like mm-hmm. 30 minutes or an mm-hmm. hour. Mm-hmm. Uh, I only saw one episode, and the episode is called Brothers. Mm-hmm. One brother uh, is dating this girl, gets gets into a fight with this dude, ends up going to jail for 10 years, right? Mm-hmm. Comes out of jail. Guess who's with his girl? His Brother. brother. And dude, the whole time I watched that episode, I was like, oh! I was fuming. It's funny that you say that because this week we were, we were talking. I was talking with one of my colleagues, and she was saying that they did like one of those ancestry things, and then they started like going back and forth, talking to each other, and uh, and uh, sh- what she was saying was the person found another person, and then turns out that. Like the dad had a sibling, had a child that nobody knew about, but they were found through ancestry. But we were, what we were saying as well was, can you imagine how many how many situations like that happen because of like the world war? Oh, like you think yeah. that you think that your partner's dead, dead, but they 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 have a brand new life. Yeah, exactly. Or like, or they died overseas, but like you know they were recovering from a massive injury, and then they come home, and then they find their wife. With their boy and like three kids, <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> oh, like like the end of um, Avengers Endgame. Yeah, yeah, like that. Yeah, people move on and have a real life. Yeah, and then you're back. It's like now you're like they're trying to find a way to kill you, put you, <laughs> make you disappear, trying right? Trying to Epstein you. Oh snap! <laughs> Bim.